Hey everyone, and welcome to the third video in my little series of what I got my kids for Christmas. This is what I got our one-year-old son for Christmas. He just turned one on the 21st. So, um, right before Christmas is his birthday. Really hard, surprisingly, to shop for a one-year-old at Christmas time. Next year will be so much easier but we actually found this a lot more challenging than we thought we would. So I have done a three-part series on what I've got my kids for Christmas, sharing their Christmas haul and their stocking stuffers with you. I have shared my 13-year-old daughter and my nine, almost 10-year-old son, and those videos will should be up already. Um, I'm trying to get these up to you like the same, like all on the same day, hopefully, or like one right after the other, right before Christmas. I'm filming these quite late. And yes, I am out of breath while I talk because I am pregnant. So apologize if I sound like I've just run a marathon um, growing a human. <laughs> Normally I shop so much sooner, but as I said in the other ones, it just like didn't work out that way this year. Um, just leaving my first trimester and I get really, really sick. And so I couldn't shop earlier. Um, my husband is on vacation and so he was able to be off. And so we just went and tackled it together and it was so much fun. Um, but now we're all done and now we have to wrap like mad. But this is the latest we've ever left it. Now, for budget wise and like number of gifts, I've stopped doing the same number of gifts for, for my kids because they're just too different in ages now. Um, so my older two get the same budget, but obviously like my oldest daughter who's 13, she asks for more expensive things and so she's not gonna get any the same amount of gifts under the tree as say her nine-year-old brother who asks for less expensive things um, because then I would end up spending hundreds more on my daughter and I don't know there's just like it just doesn't work like that anymore and then having a baby it doesn't make sense to spend the amount I spend on my big kids on my one-year-old so I like halved the budget for my one-year-old but I didn't even I don't think we even hit the budget quite I think we were slightly under and it was a little bit tricky because he does need quite a few he does need a few toys to replace his baby toys now um but he's still at that in-between age where he's like not quite ready for the stuff with like some choking hazards so it was a little bit tricky but i feel like we did an okay job so if you have a little one then um maybe this can be helpful if you're not finished shopping uh but maybe for a birthday or for next christmas too again normally i try and get these out sooner but alas okay let's get started i will share what i got first and then i will share his stocking stuffers again if you want to go see the other videos what the other kids got just click on my channel and go look at those videos they'll be right there for you i try and keep them separate so that they're just a little bit easier to find there's nothing worse than trying to find a what i got my kids for christmas video and you have a 10 year old and it's a two year old what i got my kids for christmas because the age is not in the description so i always try and separate them so that um you guys can actually like relate to it based on the ages of the kids you have. Okay, let's dive right in. So we are Bluey fans in this house and even though he doesn't really watch TV, he does like know the sound of the theme song because my older kids love Bluey, um, even though they're so much older and we love Bluey. And so we have watched all of them and every once in a while he'll peek at the TV and do a little jiggle while he's like playing. Um, so I think he, I don't know if he'll recognize the characters, but we love it, so we got him these bluey characters. And um, it says three plus, but he is supervised while he plays and I'm comfortable giving these to him. Maybe if those glasses come off, I'll take those away. But um, Costco had the mega house and it was going so fast here in Canada. Um, it was like the pallets were being put out and it was gone within five minutes and they're out of stock. So I'm hoping eventually they will get some more in and I can buy that at a later time, maybe for like, I don't know. But I wanna eventually get him the bluey like mega house. <laughs> that would be really fun. Um, but I got these and honestly, it's like kind of one of those things where like my big kids will play this with him and he will have so much fun like playing with the big kids and it's just cute. Okay, so I found these at Walmart. Okay, classic to get him a phone um he doesn't have one of these and i just think they're so fun so this was also at walmart i think he will think that's absolutely fun my husband saw rex from toy story we have the toy story collection from the disney store before 
they left Canada um, and he saw this in the store because he came shopping with us because he's one um, and my husband was like oh look what's this and he was like wow and he was like done can't handle it he's getting a Rex so he's getting Rex um, okay I saw this and I thought this was kind of cool this was at Walmart and it is the Spark Crate Imagine brand and it is a 52 piece eight in one activity trunk and it's wooden like it's a wooden trunk and in it there is like a couple of different block sets and a little like you know on the wire and there's the beads and you can move them around some blocks a little chalkboard a box to keep it in I just thought that was so cool and they can just like play on it and it has just several different fun things um so again and it has a shape sort around the front of the box so I thought um that would be fun again we're kind of graduating from the baby toys because there's such a huge age gap between my kids we didn't keep any of the toys so we're buying new stuff okay yes yeah, so that was at Walmart um he is obsessed with dogs Dogs and ducks are his favorite, but he loves dogs so much. I think it was one of his first words and one of his first signs was dogs, was dog. Um, and we were looking for a good dog stuffy, but we couldn't really find like a good quality one. And then we went to Cabela's and we found this guy and he saw him on the shelf and was like, oh, dog. And he was so obsessed and he's so cute. And we love this brand. I didn't know that. Cabela's carried it, but it's Douglas, and my daughter has both of my kids, my bigger kids, they have a bunch of Douglas teddy bears. It's a really good quality brand. The teddy bears are pricier, but they last a long time. And his lovey that we bought him when he was a baby is a koala, and it's also Douglas brand. So this super soft, sweet puppy is going to be his, and maybe be the favorite gift. I'm not sure. So cute. He was actually really, like, I think he was way more affordable at Cabela's than he would have been where we get most of the Douglas teddy bears, which is a place called Discovery Hut. Um, he was like 20 something bucks at Cabela's and that probably would have been easily 35 bucks plus at Discovery Hut. So I feel like we saved going there. Um, we got him this little remote. He loves our remotes and he does have some remotes that are like older that he plays with, but his little friend had this remote and brought it to our house and he loved it. So we saw it and we picked this up for him. It sings and does all, all the stuff, right? Um, we love this green toys brand. So we picked up on this dump truck. We got this at HomeSense, but dump trucks are great. He loves cars, he loves trucks, and I figured he could just fill this up and zoom it around and dump it out and he would have a blast. So dump truck. Again, in the truck wheelhouse, my oldest son was obsessed with trash trucks for years and he got a trash truck for his birthday and he loves it, loves it. So we got him a mini one, um, the little people, Fisher Price little mini recycling truck. And I think he'll think that's so fun and I like that there's a little one that we can bring with us. Um, this I found at Costco that was on sale for like $15. And it's this little superhero set. So again, action figures are really big in our house. My older son loves action figures, so I figured this is fun. He could put them on the motorcycles. And he's starting to watch my older son play with his action figures and sometimes play with him as well. So I figured a little set of his own that was safe for him. And they could all sit on there and he can zoom them around and play with them. I thought he would really enjoy this. Again, it says three plus, but there's no small parts. Um, so we're cool with that. Okay. Um, he has no puzzles like this. So I got him a blocky animal puzzle. My bigger kids loved these when they were toddlers. So I think I'm going to start collecting a few of these. Um, but I just got him this one from Walmart. That's just some animals. Begin that shape sorting and that fine motor skill development. So I think he will like that a lot. Um, and then this one goes with the big present that you'll see in a second. It's a little tractor. We don't do Peppa Pig, but um, we, this is the only, I did see a tractor at Toys R Us and it was kind of more, it was like a different brand of little people, 
I've never seen it before, but again, I don't know if it's new because I haven't been in the baby game for a while. Um, but they didn't have it at Walmart, and so we had already gone to Toys R Us, and we went back to Walmart, and we found this little Peppa Pig tractor, so we just got this, um, just so it could go with his big gift, which is this Fisher-Price barn. So we got this Fisher-Price interactive barn. Um, I think you'll have so much fun with it. Again, he loves animals and the bell is metal. Where's the bell? And it, so he'll like that. Um, again, my kids are really into stuff that they can like just creative play for a long time and all these little guys can go play in the barn and I think he'll just have a really good time with this. This was at Walmart and I think, um, I saw this at every Walmart. It was one of like their advertised end cap things and I think it was going for $45 which I feel like is really expensive for a barn, but whatever. Um, so that is the big gift. And that's all we got him because we don't want to overwhelm him. This is already a lot of gifts. Um, we take a very, very slow Christmas morning and he's great at wrapping, th unwrapping things and we take turns opening. And then of course, family is going to get him some things. Um, thankfully our family really doesn't go too hard. So um, he'll just get a couple of small things, I'm sure, from our family, and he will just have a lovely Christmas opening these things. So now it's the stocking. You guys know, if you've watched me before, that I made huge stockings. Um, I'm a big stocking person. We, I wrap everything in the stockings, and we have this tradition in our family where the kids on Christmas Eve grab their stockings and they put them at the end of their bed, and then in the morning, or if they wake through the night, they get to check their stocking and they know Santa's bin if their stocking is full. And I wrap everything so they can't see what it is. They don't pull anything out. And then in the morning, they get to bring their full stocking to our bed. And we sit here for like an hour and we open stockings really slowly, one at a time. And everybody just really enjoys it. And we eat little treats that are in it. And I made jumbo stockings. So if it seems like a lot, it's because our stockings are huge. Um, I made handmade huge, huge stockings. So. Um, yeah, it was a little bit tough to be like, what do I put in a baby stocking? Because I put body care and treats and like chocolates and stuff in my kids, my big kids stockings. Um, and we didn't have these big stockings and these really firm traditions when my bigger kids were babies because we were just forming them. So um, this is what I decided to put in. Now for treats, I chose the just two things. And um, I'm not gonna lie, this is not something I give my babies and it's not something I would necessarily, no judgment, but it's just like, I'm a crunchy mom and I don't pick these things, but for like baby junk food, <laughs> I grabbed these organic puffs. I've never given my baby puffs before, so I found these like organic puffs at Walmart and they were cranberry orange flavor. Um, and I'm like, you know what, it's fine. Like, honestly third kid my kid is eating worse like I just gave him fully artificial birthday cake it's fine <laughs> and then these organic strawberry banana yogurt melts and so I thought these would be nice for him and he could have a little treat because he's going to be seeing the big kids have their treats and he's such a foodie um that boy can out eat the big kids and that way he's not trying to eat the chocolates and stuff now he might still try and eat everybody else's chocolates but at least here he has his own little snacks and I think he'll I get everybody a Pringle a can of Pringles um so this is his like Pringles <laughs> anyway okay uh we have a funny tradition in our family that started when the kids were little that it was like a big running joke that like hmm naughty people must get socks and rocks for Christmas kind of thing and they thought that was the funniest thing and one year my husband and I filled a box with socks and rocks for each of them and wrapped it and um, put it under the tree with their presents and they thought it was the best gift ever. It was like one Christmas and they just laughed and laughed and laughed and then now they're just like please can we always have socks and rocks. Socks is always something in their stocking and the baby won't get rocks this year probably but um, socks still. <laughs> I'll put rocks in the big kid's stocking but I got a pack of socks for him. This is a bit, I think I got these from Old Navy. Um, then I picked up these bath weather toys because we have a big walk-in shower that I shower him in most nights and then we bath some nights. So I figured these would be great because they can stick to my glass shower door and they can stick to the wall. 
Um, and again, he's using the same, I got him a lot of bath toys between his birthday and Christmas and stocking stuff because he's using the same bath toys that my kids had when they were little and they're like a decade old. So I'm like, you could use some new bath toys. So you'll kind of notice a bath theme. Um, we got this cup. I always put a cup in stockings. So I grabbed this simple clean munchkin cup. It seemed really simple. It's got a soft straw that tucks under and apparently it's really easy to clean because everything's attached. So I can just do a straw brush. So we'll try it out. Um, love a good cup, right? Okay, I picked up these little wood cars. He, again, he loves cars. I think these were from Walmart. They have this section that's like, that's where I found the phone. It's this and like that that wood kit thing. Um, and they had a whole bunch of like great little cheap toys that were great for stocking stuffers. So um, a pack of cars. And I like that they kind of, they can probably fit on his train track, which is fun. I always put a toothbrush in everybody's stocking every single year. So I got him a little toothbrush, little Dr. Brown's giraffe toothbrush. So cute for his little teethies. Um, I got him some new utensils in his stocking because he really is wanting to feed himself with utensils now. He see We eat dinner as a family every night and he sees everybody else using forks and knives or chopsticks and he's like, I would like to also. Um, so I just needed some shorter handled ones so he could really figure out how to use it because right now I have like long baby spoons but he can't, that's too long for him. Um, I got some boats. These are just silicone stacking boats and they're numbered and he can have fun with those. Um, I got him a little people, little digger truck. And again, I think these are kind of the same deal. This one was bigger, but just a little one to go in his stocking. I thought he would like that. Um, and some big crayons. Something else that I didn't put in any of the videos is I bought this giant pack of like 500 pages of construction paper and we're just going to put it under the tree to like the Miller kids and they can all share that um, but I bought him these like first crayons so he can color with the big kids and then last but not least he is obsessed with ducks and he needed a new rubber ducky so we got him a new rubber ducky for his stocking he had a rubber ducky on his birthday cake like the boy is obsessed with ducks it's very cute. Anyway, you guys, that is what I got my one-year-old for Christmas. I would love to know what you guys are getting your little one if they're that that age. It's, I feel like it's very hard because, um, you know, a one-year-old, like, he just turned one. It's a lot different than an almost two-year-old, <laughs> you know? So it's kind of hard to shop for this age because you don't want to buy baby stuff, but they're not quite ready for, like, the toddler stuff either. It's a bit tricky, or I found it a little bit tricky, and I didn't want... Um, any more big stuff because I know he's getting um, like a ride on toy and stuff from one of our relatives. So yeah, we didn't want to like buy another ride on toy, like a bike or a scooty car. It just felt like it would be way too much in our living room. So um, anyway, this is what I got. Feel free to let me know what you got your baby around the same age. Um, and I hope you enjoyed and have a very Merry Christmas. Bye.